Hello everybody, today is going to be another day of slaying and that's going to be a first worm task completed. Now, I also collected a lot of these bones, so hopefully very soon we can make some kind of altar. Yeah, boy, look at this. Wait, let's bury this bone. The previous gave, I think, 600 or 800 from the Drake bone and this one gives 500, so... Until next level, still, dude, 21 bones I have to bury. Now let's quickly get another task, Sulfur Lizards. Mwah, beautiful, just three points, basically. Three tasks completed, so I can eventually get the, the Rune Pouch, yes, because you can unlock it through Slayer now. So I'm gonna open these 16 Brimstone Keys that I have. Hopefully I'm going... Oh my god, dude, that's amazing, these Roshogs. But hopefully I can get some uh, Steel Bars, because I am still 67 smithing. I still did not complete the Hard Diaries. Although those diamonds and rubies are pretty good too, because that's going to be some free experience. However, dude, I can fletch these. My fletching level is so high. Store still. I'll get some ranas. Yes, finally. Oh my god, I have zero prayer potions in the bank. Now, before I continue Slayer, I want to use up all of these uncut gems. I'm going to put them in the same tab, and I'm going to later collapse it, because I feel like I have so many useless tabs. Like, what the hell is this? Yeah, you know, it's like from old times when I was still making bronze. But let's see, currently my crafting level is 49, and from all the gems, how much experience I'm going to get. Now it's going even faster, 850 XP for rubies. We're going to see how much for diamonds. I'm guessing it's going to be probably 1,000 experience. All right, let's see diamonds. Oh, yes, over 1,000 XP. Look how quickly it's going up. Oh, my God. Wait, let's try again now. Now let's see how many actions until next level. 18. So this inventory is going to give me another level. Beautiful experience. All right, that was the last inventory I got from 49 to 61 crafting. By the way, yesterday when I was killing shamans, I forgot to show you that I got 22 elite clues as well. But again, I'm not doing it until I get 95 Slayer and I can kill Hydra to get that mystic row bottom. There we go, 97 attack, and I just realized that I didn't show you my stats, so this is how it looks like. Because in my previous video, I was slaying like the whole day, and then nobody knew when I started. It was from 85 to 90 Slayer. So we're gonna see how much I can get today. Look at this, only 80,000 until next level. Wait, actually, I'm not gonna be training attack anymore. I'm gonna be going for defense, because I also wanna have my combat level increase a little bit. 116 at the moment. Oh my god, 35 brutal black dragons. How do you think I would do in that place? I mean, that would be another league task completed, but these guys... Hold up, I have no runners. I just can't do it. I have never done this in RuneScape before, but let's use this ancient shard on this thing and let's teleport to Dragon's Den, I assume. That's going to teleport me near the brutal... Dude, it's like so close. There's hellhounds here. Do, do people actually use, like, Ancient Shard to just teleport to that place? But if you climb up the vine here, you will unlock the permanent entrance through here. So this is the Lava Kenj. Now, since I also have some Xerix Talismans, I'm going to take all of them and I'm going to look for Fangs if I have any. You see, that's, like, going to be additional 100 teleports. So let's see. In total, I have slightly above 100, but I can dismantle these into more fangs because I don't actually need like multiple talismans at the moment at least. And now if we add these fangs, I'm going to have in total 400. So this is my plan. So this is the Lava Kench teleport. It's fairly far away from the entrance, which is, well, it's pretty close actually. I think it's going to be closer than the Xerix Hamlet. So let's teleport to, I think it's Inferno. Let's see what this one teleports you to. Yeah, that's actually farther away. So that's currently my plan, just go and pray on this altar, then go down here, and once I run out of prayer, then just walk back up, pray again. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just leave this AFK, I wanna see if I can kill at least one during the one full trip, before my prayer runs out. But I managed to kill two of them in the same trip, as you can see I still have eight prayer left, so this is not bad at all, like compared to blue dragons when I was killing them, you remember? Oh boy. But of course I was doing it with magic. This is not gonna be as bad as I thought. It's kinda sad when people get like amulets and like van braces and like helmets. Like I think third age mage helmet looks good, but like this one is barely noticeable. Actually, it does look cool. Nice one. Third age. All right, guys, just completed another worm task, so we're gonna have a lot of bones. Let's see right now what we have. 213. I did not bank every single bone because sometimes my inventory would be full, but I just googled, and apparently the best altar that you can make is not teak or mahogany, is limestone. 
but you cannot get any limestone in Zaya. There is no rocks to mine. However, you can get it from Winter Todd. Now, because I've done so many, I'm going to assume that I do have them in the bank. So let's search for limestone. Yeah, I got 25. I can use a chisel. I don't think there is any other requirements to do this. And you can just bam. By the way, I had to cancel so many contracts that I actually had to do Tataman. If you look at the chat, white berries. Oh my God, dude, I love farming contracts when you already have like stuff growing i got some watermelons got some snake grass i just checked and we're gonna get i just need the redwood and yes another has spotty seed let's go for a hard contract again potato oh my god dude i have potato cacti too gotta open another pack and by the way since i got to 99 farming i was not training it at all like on purpose you know going to the tight farm or something look at the experience 23 million this is because of all the magic trees that I had, because of uh, his body that you kill, because it's like close to 300k XP per kill. Dude, it's still going? Oh, there we go. That was so long. Look at this. I started at 151 white berries, and I went all the way to 202. Like, one bush actually gave me over 50 white berries. And also just realized that at some point I had like 15 palm trees and that was like such an easy experience. But I realized that it wasn't from like farming contracts because I thought every time I will be able to just, you know, check the palm tree, get like 200k free experience. But apparently it was from either elites or masters. So if I stop completing them, I'm gonna run out of palm trees eventually. And every time I farm a U tree, I just dig the roots. So now I have a total of eight. This is only the second U tree I've done. Only you get four roots. The problem is that I only have one U left. So I think that's how you do it. Look at this half coconut. Dude, this is like the weirdest way to make potions. I think you do this. Yeah, the coconut milk. It's probably one of the very few potions where it actually says the potion that you're about to make in the title. It's usually Toad Flax Unfinished. Like, it's named after the herb, not after the potion. Look at this antidote plus 1,500 XP per. And it's actually a four-dose potion. It's not even a three-dose. I never knew this. Super anti-poison gives you six minutes of immunity, and the antidote plus will give me nine minutes and I don't have any trees at the moment. Remember when I came in this guild and I said I got 23 mil farming experience? Well, take a look at this. I'm gonna clear the body. Maybe we're gonna get something. I don't know. I never had the but bottomless bucket from this one. Kronos seed and potato cacti. So there's nothing but look at the farming experience. I got 600k from like 10 minutes of work. Just running around the guild. We're getting to that 25 mil very soon. Is gonna be additional league points for that. So actually I cannot make the altar yet. That's why I'm woodcutting in this place. I don't know how many oak planks I'm going to need. But if we go to chapel. And there's going to be at 64 limestone altar. So it's quite a bit of XP. But, but somehow I think I got enough of these. Look, I'm just getting three points at this point. Level 60 construction and base level 60 as well. So what is my lowest stat at the moment? Crafting, thieving, agility, construction, and smithing. I can get that easily. So since this is going to be the last trip, I'm going to show you how I'm doing the construction method. As you can see, I'm just going to teleport outside. But this is what I thought that the rune pouch would help really a lot. But you actually don't need it if you have the dust battle staff. Because this is going to occupy one space anyway. And previously, I was only making two ladders because I didn't have enough inventory space. Because I didn't know that the staff was that good. That it actually removes both runes and not just one. And then I just teleport back, which was the wrong teleport. But we can try this again. This is the Lava Kench. I think this is the closest bank that I can teleport to at the moment. By plank, let's go for Mahogany. It wasn't that bad actually but i'm gonna have to make 9000 eventually of these for 99 construction because i am going to be using mahogany as i don't want to be teleporting you know so many times there is no butler and stuff like that i want to end construction as quick as possible and there we go level 64 people usually don't build limestone altars but here it is it looks beautiful Oh my god, there's some kind of variation, finally. Not everyone's having those gilded altars. This is going to be quite confusing, because I'm not going to be using any um, burners, because I don't have any mantle. And I kind of feel like it would be a waste, instead of planting normal herbs for a lot of herb lord experience, I don't want to be using the only two patches that we have for like 50% increase in prayer XP. But let's see. 1,200 XP. Oh yeah, it's not gilded altar. In my head... I had all the calculations with like 
oh, I'm gonna get like 252 XP per bone. So that's 2,500. Wait, how many until next level? 65, and this is with dragon bones. So the other bones, I think they give less XP, except maybe for the drake bones. All right now, it's time for drake bones. Look at this, 1,400 experience. So they do give slightly more all right, this is gonna be the last inventory. I will be getting to 74 prayer, and I'm looking at Runelight right now, and it shows that I gained close to 300,000 prayer experience. So it's pretty much like getting maybe 22 Abbey Demon heads or something. That's right, all those bones that I collected. It's not much, is it? So it's also thinking about doing medium clues, but at the moment, I don't wanna do any hards or elites or masters because that's what I've been doing all the time. So I was thinking, what about those mediums? But then I realized that there is one step that's near the Slayer Master. Wait, it's like right here, you have to, there's like emote that you have to do. So I would teleport to this place or, or this right here and walk all the way there. It's a little bit of walking to do for that specific clue step. However, if you complete elite diaries, you can teleport here unlimited amount of times. And I was looking at what kind of tasks I got left, like elite, can I even complete them? And it seems to be most of these are very easy to do, except that I cannot create my own battle staff from scratch within farming guild because I never had a Celestra seed. You know, anglerfish, scotizo, chop some redwoods. I could, maybe I, I should knock that out right now. Wait, hold up, I'm gonna stay in this place a little bit. I wanna see the XP rates at the redwoods because I completely forgot. They're not faster than oaks, right? They cannot be, but one law gives, wait, you're gonna see, come on. It shows like 1.3 mil XP in wood cutting. There we go, 7,600. One log, dude. One log. And everything's going to the bank as well. Now it shows actually 1.4 million wood cutting XP an hour. 1.7 now. It's showing that I'm gaining around 1.1 million XP an hour. I've been in here for like five, six minutes or something. It's kind of odd. Like every single tree that I chop gives the same amount of XP. <laughs> Willows give 1 mil XP an hour. Mahoganies give like 1.2 maybe mil XP an hour. So I'm wondering what the hell gives like 1.5 or something. I'm wondering if it's even worth it fishing these angler fish, but that should be, oh, it's only stage one. I have to cook it. Don't burn baby, come on. Yeah, that's another LE task. Wait, I was looking at the task. You can just teleport to the heart, which is when you build a statue. And that was another heart task. Yo, bro, what the hell, dude? I'm just mining the rocks. What the hell? I barely noticed. If, it did, if there was no text above it, I would never notice that it was a third day jamlet. Jesus. Wait, I can't tell which guy it is. is. Is it that guy? Death rune? Oh, yeah. Nice. Wow. So the previous anvil that I was using was near this bank, but you have to go through two floors of uh, the castle, which is kind of annoying, actually. Go to the bank, go down, go down, and then you can go to the anvil, but then you have to go up, go up, and you're at the bank. But currently I am at this anvil. I was watching Devious and he said, this is probably the fastest of all, but at least it's not as tedious. I don't know why, but smithing is like so slow and I have no idea how to train it faster, like making higher quality bars or something like that. It just, it's just not going fast enough, but here we go. And I think this is going to be the furnace, which will complete my last hard diary. There we go, the confirmation screen. Let's teleport. Oh, hell yeah, man. There's going to be another XP lamb. But now, here's the deal. Usually, I put this on Headblower, but I think this time, I'll be putting it on Agility. Because this is, I think, it's 250,000, which would save me half an hour of just constant clicking on those stones in the winter thought. I don't know how I'll be getting to 99 Agility, because there's so much clicking you have to do. I still don't know the XP rates there, but I know that this time is hopefully, hopefully it will get me to 70 from just this XP lamp. Let's see. Close. Oh, it was 150,000. And that's another task also completed, which is 100 elite points. Well, I forgot about that. What about the elite? Oh, it says 250 elite points for the elite. Jesus, just three points, just like that. Now, if I go ahead and make the stab, there's going to be another task completed. Damn, if I only got that Celestris tree seed, everything could be over even right now. But also, since I was mining these Dark Essence blocks, I thought I'll just mine the full inventory and I'm going to make some Battlefront teleports sometimes i'm not on the correct spell book so i just use this to teleport here we go 42k oh my god you had to drop like three items from one thing and i thought i actually got something 
here it is boys another abyssal whip on the floor oh my god i love the orange text let's zoom in a little bit on this one there's actually no use for a second whip because you cannot make a tentacle but it's pretty cool to have all right guys that's going to be all for this video these are my ending stats 90 defense look at my combat level 119 but yeah i know the slayer level is not that high i think i'm halfway to 93 but i've been distracted with a bunch of other things that i wanted to do you know just get them out of the way so i'm just chilling here at the hellhounds and yeah hopefully soon we can get to 95 but i am going to sleep right now because i really need to thank you for watching this video good night